Hello again, James from the 11 Plus Tutors. Um, my plan is from now on to try and probably starting next week, um, one video for our older stream, year four, some really high achieving year threes, um, and another set of videos for year five. Today, this is really for an introductory topic for maths, and this is really aimed at the younger stream. Um, so if that fits you or your child, please listen up. So, today I'm just going to focus on real basics, the addition and subtraction of decimals. So, the main <coughs> ways in which we see children come unstuck with this is um, not keeping things lined up properly in columns. And when children are not quite sure how to align uh, numbers with a different number of digits, that's the, they're the two key areas that keep... And of course, the common things like forgetting to include a carry, or exchanging when subtracting. They're the, they're the common difficulty areas. So I'm gonna start with something nice and easy here, which is um, these have got the same number of decimal places. They've got one decimal place each. So one decimal place. Decimal place means the number of numbers to the right of a decimal point. Um, and the main thing to remember is you must line up all of the numbers using the decimal point. So I always say to children, remember the buttons on your shirt they align with each other, okay, no matter what. Even into the answer, they line up. And this is true of addition, subtraction, and division, but not multiplication. I'll come to that in a later video. Six, seven, eight, 11. Okay, so we've got the carry there. So the answer is 11.8. Here, we, this is where children start to come unstuck. It's where you've got <coughs> um, two digits here, decimal point, one digit, add one digit, decimal point, one decimal place. So you've got a different number of digits. So what we must do is, as I said before, align with the decimal points. That's the key thing. Must always line up along these. So even if, I say to children, even if there are gaps, so what we do with a gap typically, some people leave it as a gap, but I prefer to tell kids to um, add zeros. It just helps the eyes. So, of course, we never forget the, uh, the operator. Um, addition, um, so it's 13. So some people carry underneath. I, I was taught as a child to carry underneath. Some people carry above, it doesn't matter. 10. 20.3. Nice and easy, if we remember what to do. I'm just jumping straight over to subtraction, something a bit more complicated. Now, addition and subtraction follow the same pattern, okay? It's the same thing, just line everything up the decimal points, but these are normal. The normal things that you do with addition and subtraction still apply here. Now, straight away you can see that these have got a different number of decimal points. Um, decimal places, so we've got a gap here. Like I said, always replace a gap with a zero. Now, here's another key point where kids come wrong. Um, they get taught this at, at school, but it's really important to remember. The number above must always be bigger than the number below. If that is not the case, what we say to children is we exchange, or I like to say borrow from a neighbor, we borrow from there, but then we add it next to the number here. So it's 10, so that's five. Now, because we exchange one, we borrowed from one over here, and we're now down to eight. So it's eight subtract four is four. Here we've got one take zero is one. Six take six is zero. So we've got 0 0.145. So a few sticking points here and there, but hopefully that makes sense. Just to summarize, the main thing with addition, subtraction, division is you line everything up using the, the decimal points. Um, if it's got a different number of digits, instead of a gap, I would say to get gaps up will happen, but you must put a zero in to help your eyes. Um, and when we've got this, we had a gap, we put a zero in. If the number above is smaller than the number below, we must borrow or exchange from a neighbor and carry that over. I hope that makes sense. Uh, 
next time I'll be looking at division and multiplication. Um, another multiplication is the one that's different, completely different to this. So that's going to be interesting. I hope you enjoyed that, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.